Now, I'm going to move on over here and uh, yak with the judges briefly. Dog number two, whenever you're ready there, Dan. And in the meantime, John, you know, you say what you want. Uh, we're going to have the sixth dog coming up in a sec uh, of this week so far, and not one dog the same. No, they've they all been different. Interestingly enough, though, we've had all, all beef hot dogs so far. You know, and, and, and a lot of the commercial uh, dogs have a pork or a pork and beef mix. But we're doing, it seems to be all beef so far. So far. And Jeb, you know what, the fries, I, I noticed that you said earlier, you know, I'm, I'm just eating fries right now. So the fries can be a distraction, right? Uh, they, yeah, you know what, they were really, really good. The fries were, and you know, the dog was great too. But, you know, something about those fries. And the chili, and I'm a, a good uh, sauce and accoutrement guy there, Pierre Lamial. The chili was tasteful, but not uh, too much, like not smothering the dog. Yeah, absolutely, and they, they make the chili here in-house. Yeah. So, yeah. House Chili's huge. And speaking of Maiden House, we, can we get a shot of this here? Because this is the newest, latest. I don't think we've had a real shot of this today. Make me one with everything. The classic, as Pierre Lamiel says, pulling out all the stops this morning. Here comes Dan. Dan's going to lay him down. I'm going to switch sides over here so I can get on the other side as our judges will get set to dig in. And I'll try to walk behind cameraman, Darren. Watch your step. So, uh, Dan, explain to the judges. I'm going to get tight with you over here. Explain to the judges what you've laid out for them for dog number two. Yeah, our second dog is a pulled pork dog with, uh, of course, pulled pork, our own style uh, barbecue sauce and fresh made coleslaw on it, along with a side of pierogies with fried onions, bacon, and sour cream. Uh, it's a nice option if you don't want to have French fries with your meal. Um, you know, I thought I saw you doing the pierogies in the back there, and I thought you were doing the pierogi dog because, yeah, you have a pierogi dog on the menu. But it's interesting because you try different things. This is one of the beauties of, of running your own place. You found great success not only with the pierogies, but the pierogi dog as well. well that's right. And uh, I don't like the run-of-the-mill uh, items that you get at most chain restaurants and that. I like to be able to experiment. And uh, unfortunately, I think I've put on about 200 pounds the last year just experimenting with hot dogs. So. <laughs> 35 pounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but nevertheless, what I think is cool about this is it's that hot meets cool, cold because you got the slaw on top of the pulled pork and then the, the dog underneath. That's right, and it just blends really well together. It's uh, kind of, a, for these guys, a nice finish to get rid of the chili flavor out of their stomachs there and get something sweet into their stomach. Very cool. This is dog number two, day number three, wrapping it up on Friday with the best of BT, best hot dog in Calgary. We're going to find out by Friday, you guys. Every I didn't dog's know different. that coleslaw on a hot dog was a thing. It's a thing. And who knew you could put pierogies on the side? Whoa. Hello. Uh,